In this video, I'll answer the question if the Putin is going to use nuclear weapons. As you all know, today Putin ordered his uh, army to put all the nuclear arsenal on the high alert. So in this video, I'll give you the clear answer if he's going to do this or he is not going to do this. Besides that, I'll also elaborate a little bit uh, on this, what's going to happen in near future around the Ukraine and how the situation is going to uh, unfold. So let's jump into the subject. Leaders, dictators like Hitler, Stalin, when they died, Stalin, for example, when they opened his safe, inside there was only his last payment. Hitler, there was not many things found after he ordered to burn himself, but he did not amaze, he did not amount it the huge amount of money or he did not build any fortune. Those guys were true to their ideas. They were true to their beliefs. Fast forward. Nowadays, we have a different kind of dictatorship. If you take a look, let's say, at North Korea, or if you take a look at Venezuela, or Cuba, or China, or Russia. This is a new breed of dictatorship. Those are the guys who on one side are preaching the gospel of ideology inherited from their past, like in the Putin's case, he's preaching the gospel of communism, but on the another side, he is amounting the fortune. Some of the people estimate worth between 200 and 400 billion dollars. So what you see right here is the guy who is a master of deception. He's a former KGB uh, agent working in Dresden on intelligence and he knows very well that this ideology helps him to go through life to be successful go all the way to the top become the president of one of the biggest countries in the world and parallel to this helps him to build a nice nest of eggs For many years, Putin is known from talking one thing and doing another thing. Right now, in the Ukraine, he's pushed against the wall. So there is no surprise that he is going to use any possible means to scare, to intimidate, to create the fear because that's what the Russian government is about, about creating fear, about creating intimidation. But real Vladimir Putin is the guy who loves money. Billions of dollars stolen from Russian people. That's the real face of Vladimir Putin. And he is never going to use any nuclear weapons because he knows that if he even carried this order to his generals and they carried the order, that would mean his end. So far, intelligence, US intelligence is saying that his generals did not even carry this order. 
because you have to understand that in order to put the nuclear arsenal on the high alert you have to test the things and those tests are clearly visible through the satellites so US intelligence already know that this is a bluff this is a intimidating tactic done many times by the Putin right now he's losing the war and he's pushed against the wall he's naked so in order to do not lose completely his credibility or his reputation he's referring to nuclear arsenal there will be no third world war right now the world is not gonna end i guarantee you that putin is not going to use any nuclear weapons <laughs> absolutely not so when i heard this today it actually make me feel better because i know the way how this guy operates inside of his mind just like I told you before but there's a couple different uh, scenarios unfolding from this what he is uh, just trying to do what he did is that saying that he's uh, putting on high alert all the nuclear uh, arsenal is that he created the bigger fear than himself by creating bigger fear than himself within his circle people are thinking people are thinking and they are fearing more this what he said than himself so this is a more and more motivation for them to assassinate him to suddenly we can have a news one day that Vladimir Putin suddenly died from the heart attack that's how it's gonna be carried they are not going to tell you that he was killed or suddenly he fell ill or suddenly he had an accident because like I said he created fear bigger than himself for now for past 22 years the Russian federation is run on fear from the top to bottom and this top fear is the putin now by saying that he is activating nuclear arsenal he created bigger fear and all those people from the bottom are going to think wow we are gonna lose everything there's gonna be nuclear war everybody is gonna perish because of this one guy let's do something about this so this is stronger push and motivation for those guys around Putin to just knock him off because frankly they don't want to lose their fortunes they don't want to lose their lives because they love this what they have so again Putin is not going to use nuclear weapons but he will be talking about this you will hear about this for next two three four weeks even longer as long as this fighting is going to continue because this is the last resort which he has of course he has different things in his uh, his his you know in uh, under his jacket which I'm more afraid of what I'm more afraid of uh, is that he can do some deceptive move like for example explode the dirty bomb in Moscow or St. Petersburg and blame this on Ukrainians and this will give him a justification for carpet bombing the Ukrainian cities because he will not take them you Ukrainians are gonna fight to the last drop of blood 
and no Spetsnaz, no Russian, uh, any special forces are not going to make any changes. Don't believe in this. So what I'm really afraid of is some kind of foul play like was done in 1999, 2000, when there was a couple explosions around the Russia and they were blamed on the Chechen, Chechen rebels. But in reality, later on, the evidence came out that this was done by the KGB to bring Russian people together and unite them behind the Putin. So this is a playbook for Putin. He already, I think, is working on the backup plan. And that's what I'm afraid of. This kind of actions, something exploding somewhere in Russia or sending missiles on nuclear power plants somewhere in Ukraine and creating the havoc, disaster, creating the fear and then spinning this somehow and blaming on the Ukrainians. This is what I am afraid of right now. This is the biggest fear because as of right now, time is on the side of Ukrainians. They agreed today to meet and talk. This is great. I know the fighting doesn't stop, but at least slows down a little bit for these talks. There's probably nothing going to come out of those talks, but this will give the time for Ukrainians to do a little bit of reinforcement if they can do and get the weapons from Western countries which are probably already reaching the Ukraine or reaching the Ukrainian fighters. So time is on the side of the Ukrainians. Time is against uh, Putin. Okay, so that is my take about the nuclear weapons. I did this video for one of the subscribers who was worried uh, that uh, he heard the news today. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about this. That's the last thing to worry about the nuclear weapon. I'm actually more worried uh, about obesity rate around the world than about the uh, nuclear war coming and being started for uh, being started by Vladimir Putin okay thank you so much for watching of course pray for all the Ukrainians because I think the hard times are coming for them because Russians are circling they are bringing heavy artillery and I think that one of the dirty playbooks is going to be find some reason to start shooting this heavy artillery into the Kiev, which is gonna destroy, civilians are gonna die, beautiful buildings, beautiful, uh, beautiful architecture. This, this, is, this, is, this is unspeakable. I, I hope this will not happen. Okay, thank you so much. Pray for all the Ukrainian civilians, Ukrainian people, keep them in mind and have a good evening.